So I hooked up these two little mini servos. This one came from my first beginner kit from Amazon from Jimmy's American Wholesale. This one I got a Radio Shack. Another beginner kit. Which was way overpriced. It was the same price as the other beginner kit. But I got this little tiny box with some wires in it. And then the other kit. Which is of course open source not name brand generic. I got just tons of stuff. So but now I have two servos. And last night I figured that out because I didn't know about the Radio Shack one. So I'm hoping to try to learn inverse kinematics programming a little bit in a step by step format instead of waiting for my robot with four legs to show up and try to do something then. And this is my little rig. And I'm going to use a 9-volt battery to power the servos and a 9-volt battery or the computer. And I don't know how I'm going to try to drive the feet around. This kit comes with a joystick buttons like a TV remote and it also has like a, a little joystick PlayStation 2 model but that's not how I want to drive the robot what I'd really like to do is figure out how to make a touch screen control system where on one side you have for individual leg control mode you have four sliders one for each leg that control the elevation of the foot and then when you lift it the foot goes up and then you slide your finger around a field on the other side of the screen which will place it the foot laterally and then you slide it back down. And then the several positions of the several different legs will try to naturally position the center of mass based on your new. So while you're sliding and extending this foot out, the other legs will move. But I don't know how intensive all of that will be. So I'll just try to make so that I can feel like I'm getting some kind of grasp on one foot moving like to one place or somehow I'm driving the one foot something like that <laughs> 